This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 692. What is financial freedom? By the Finance Twins of thefinancetwins.com. And I'm Dan, your host here on Optimal Finance Daily, and this is the podcast where I read to you from some of the best blogs on personal finance. I narrate articles from Mr. Money Mustache, I Will Teach You to Be Rich, Get Rich Slowly, Afford Anything, The Mad Scientist, and many more, sort of like a gigantic ongoing audiobook, but free of charge. Now, today's post comes from the Finance Twins, who are brand new contributors for our show. I'll tell you a bit about them at the end of today's post. And before we get to it, most job boards overwhelm you with tons of the wrong resumes. Not smart. But ZipRecruiter finds the right people for you and actively invites them to apply. Smart. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash OFD. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. For now, let's get to today's post as we start optimizing your life. What is Financial Freedom? By the Finance Twins of thefinancetwins.com. Living in the US, we are constantly bombarded with the word freedom. We all know what it means, yet it's not easy to put it into a few simple words. Ultimately, we think having freedom means having power over ourselves and our future. Power over how we spend our time, over how we feel, and power over what we can do and say. To be free of constraints is one of life's true luxuries. So what is financial freedom? Does this mean that the definition of financial freedom is having power over our finances and money? Before we jump into what financial freedom is and looks like, we want to highlight the reality that many people don't have the basic freedoms that many of us enjoy. It may seem silly to talk about money, when some people don't have the freedom of speech, the freedom to work and provide for their families, or the freedom to live a life free of fear. What is financial freedom? To have financial freedom means to have power over how and when you'll make, spend, and earn money. To be free of financial constraints. Does this mean you need to be able to afford anything you want, like a private jet, to be free? Of course not. Does this mean that everyone with a million dollars in the bank has financial freedom? Absolutely not. Is it possible to have financial freedom without having millions of dollars? Yes. Having financial freedom doesn't simply mean being wealthy or not having to work anymore. Those are simply things that people with financial freedom may be or decide to do. However, remember, like we wrote in a previous post, that being wealthy is better than being rich. What does financial freedom look like? Having true financial freedom means going to bed without worrying about where the next paycheck will come from. It means not having to worry about whether you'll eventually be able to retire, not losing sleep over how you'll pay the mortgage next month. It means going to bed knowing that the light and heat won't be shut off in the morning. Most importantly, it means not having to compromise about the things most important to you. It means having time. Having the freedom and the means to provide the most important things in life, food, water, clothing, shelter, sanitation, education, and healthcare for your loved ones is an incredible achievement. To many, it may seem like a low bar, but when the data shows the average American doesn't have $400 in the bank, it highlights that it's not as easy or as simple as it sounds. The good news is that many people have the ability to achieve financial freedom. No one said it'd be easy, but it's possible. The biggest driver of financial freedom. There's one thing you control that will greatly affect whether you'll achieve financial freedom or not. It is your monthly savings rate. This simply refers to the portion of your income that you are able to save and invest every month. It's that simple. Save and invest a high portion of your income and you'll be set. Fail to do so and you'll be running the rat race for the rest of your life. The reason your savings rate determines whether you'll arrive at financial freedom is because the lower the amount of money you rely on for your daily life, the less dependent you'll be on money and the less financial constraints you'll need to be freed from. Look, we get that life is expensive and that the cost of living varies greatly around the country. The cost of food, gas, rent, education, and social activities isn't going to drop. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Life is only getting more expensive and will continue to do so. But driving new cars, living in a big house, and living paycheck to paycheck is the easiest way to ensure you'll never truly reach financial freedom. Heck, making $2 million a year won't mean jack if you spend it all and go into credit card debt. The fastest way to financial freedom is to save a high percentage of your income. 
it will force you to live off of less and accelerate the rate at which you build wealth. As a result, you'll have more money and it will last you longer. A win-win. What would you do with financial freedom? Some people dream of having financial freedom so that they can finally stop working and focus on a special hobby they're passionate about. Others might love their job, but want to get to a place where they know that they no longer need to worry about money. At the same time, others may have dreams of buying an RV and seeing the world. No one can tell you what your dreams are. Your dreams are locked deep inside of yourself and it's your job to unlock and discover them. The most important part is to begin to think of your dreams so that you can begin to work toward them. Regardless of how you plan to spend your time, energy, and money, you need a plan. If you don't know where you're trying to go, we guarantee you that you'll never get to where you need. What financial freedom means to us. After our father died, our mother worked tirelessly to raise us while keeping food on the table. To say she struggled is an understatement. To put it bluntly, she won't be able to retire without our help. So for us, financial freedom means putting ourselves in the position where our children will never need to provide for us as we age. It means not having to worry about whether we'd be able to pay the fee for our kids' summer soccer team like our mom did. We know how hard it is to constantly worry about money. This is what drives us to help you. We want you to reach your financial goals. Take charge. Financial freedom isn't just handed to most people. From a financial perspective, it's important to know how much you need to save for your future. Our retirement calculator is the perfect place to get an estimate. The best way to increase the amount you save and invest is to hold yourself accountable. That's exactly why you need a budget. This also ties into the behavioral component. If you have your sights set on a goal, it'll give you the clarity you need to make spending and purchasing decisions. That $10 coffee might be less appealing if you know it'll prevent you from achieving financial freedom. After all, lifestyle creep is the silent money thief that you let into your house. What does financial freedom mean to you? You just listened to the post titled, What is Financial Freedom? by the Finance Twins of thefinancetwins.com. And I'll tell you a little bit more about them in just a moment, but first I want to say thank you again to ZipRecruiter for sponsoring this episode. You know what's not smart? job sites that overwhelm you with tons of the wrong resumes. But you know what is smart? ZipRecruiter.com slash OFD. Unlike other job sites, ZipRecruiter doesn't wait for candidates to find you. ZipRecruiter finds them for you. Its powerful matching technology scans thousands of resumes, identifies people with the right skills, education, and experience for your job, and then actively invites them to apply. So you get qualified candidates fast. No more sorting through the wrong resumes. No more waiting for the right candidates to apply. It's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is rated number one by employers in the US. This rating comes from hiring sites on Trustpilot with over a thousand reviews. And right now, my listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ziprecruiter.com slash OFD. That's ziprecruiter.com slash OFD. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And as promised a little bit about our authors today, the Finance Twins are actually twin brothers, identical twins, and their mission is to simplify personal finance. They grew up poor while being raised by a widowed mom in Minnesota. Their dad passed away from cancer when they were just seven, and they started working when they were 15 to help cover the bills. One's a doctor and the other has his MBA from Harvard Business School, so pretty smart guys. And uh, you can learn more about them, check out the tools and resources that they're offering, and uh, learn a lot more on their site, which is thefinancetwins.com. That's thefinancetwins.com. And of course, thanks to them for letting us share their content. And that should do it for today. Thank you so much for being here and for being a loyal listener each and every day. I'll see you back here for the Wednesday show tomorrow. That's where we'll hear a post from Kristen Wong and where your optimal life awaits.